Egypt executes student who was tortured to confess to attempted assassination of senior officer. Here's a summary of the article. Egyptian authorities have carried out the death penalty against a university student after his conviction in the case of the assassination of a high-ranking police officer in Alexandria in 2018, a rights group said citing his family. According to the Egyptian Network for Human Rights, the Egyptian prison's authority on Sunday executed Moataz Mustafa Hassan, a 27-year-old engineering student, inside the Cairo Appeal Prison. On 14 June 2020, in a final judgment, the Emergency State Security Criminal Court, headed by Councillor Mohamed Shireen Fahmy, sentenced three defendants, including Hassan, to death by hanging, for their conviction in the case of the attempted assassination of the former Alexandria Governorate Security Director, Major General Mustafa Al-Nimr in March 2018. According to the ENHR, the three were tortured inside one of the security headquarters in Alexandria. The reports of the execution of Hassan have triggered angry reactions by Egyptian human rights advocates, who accused authorities of torturing him to record a video confession prior to his conviction. Translation. Egypt today executed the student Moataz Mustafa Hassan, 25 years old. Moataz has been handed a final verdict on charges of the attempted assassination of the Alexandria security director. Since the rise to power of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi in Egypt following the overthrow of his predecessor Mohamed Morsi in 2013, the country has seen a wave of repression against political dissidents, sparking outrage from human rights organizations. This post received a score of 22,000, with an up-vote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I was watching a trial of an Egyptian man accused of drugging his son and slaughtering him with a box cutter. The guy claims that he was forced to confess. It's impossible for a judge to determine if the guy is innocent in a country where torture is the best method for investigating crimes. If you're going to torture someone to make them confess, why not skip the middleman and just produce a fake confession? They use torture and force people to give confession, and that makes them feel like they did their job. However, some people end up confessing to crimes they never committed. It is as backwards, but unfortunately, some countries refuse to enter the 21st century. If you torture someone enough they'll confess to killing Kennedy, but that doesn't mean it's true. There's a Korean movie that centers around this concept that I recently watched with my so. They basically kidnap this disabled kid and beat him into confessing he murdered a girl because they can't find the real killer. It's crazy that this kind of stuff actually happens, probably pretty frequently too. There's a true story out of Iceland where they arrested people for a murder and kept them in isolation until they couldn't really tell if they committed the crime or not so they confessed. It was something like a year in isolation. For those who are curious, this is called the The Reykjavik Confessions, 1. A truly shocking miscarriages of justice. For example, Erla Baladotter was held in solitary confinement for 242 days. Two were kept under solitary confinement for over 600 days, one of whom, Trigvi Runer Lifeson, for 655 days, the longest solitary confinement outside of the Guantanamo Bay detention camp. Sayavar Cezelski was kept in custody for a total of 1,533 days. 1. Ugh. Something about solitary confinement scares me worse than death. Tortured to confess should be reasonably assumed innocent. So really they just murdered someone. No. Tortured Theon murdered its justice, see. So the police don't actually care about finding and arresting criminals, they just want a random body to publicly sacrifice so it looks like they are doing their jobs. No legwork required. Scapegoats, as old as government itself. Possibly even as old as regular goats. What a fucked up world we live in. In October and November alone, the Egyptian authorities executed at least 57 men and women, nearly double the recorded 32 people they executed throughout 2019, Amnesty International said today. This horrific assault of the right to life included at least 15 people sentenced to death in cases relating to political violence following grossly unfair trials marred by forced confessions and other serious human rights violations including torture and enforced disappearances. This shocking death toll is likely to be an underestimate, as Egyptian authorities do not publish statistics on executions or the number of prisoners on death row. 
nor do they inform families or lawyers in advance of executions. Pro-government media reported 91 executions citing anonymous official sources since October. The Egyptian authorities have embarked on a horrifying execution spree in recent months, putting scores of people to death, in some cases following grossly unfair mass trials, said Philip Luther, Amnesty International's Middle East and North Africa Research and Advocacy Director. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.